Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of my drugstore and affordable highlighters from my least to my most favorites. So if you wanna see what comes out on top, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Today we're digging into my collection and I will be honest, I don't think very many of you were interested in this one, but I did do a high-end and luxury highlighter ranking, which I will list down below for you guys. So the OCD in me couldn't handle it. I had to do a drugstore one. For my mental sanity, it needed to be done. So altogether, I have 17 different highlighter formulas that are either from the drugstore or are more on the affordable end. The way that I do these, these are just my individual highlighters that are in my highlighter drawer. I do of course have formulas and palette form and all of that stuff. Again, for time, sanity, we just do it the individual guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. We are starting off at number 17, my least favorite highlighter in my collection. I bought this when I was in Spain. I just wanted to buy something in Spain. It's not even a Spanish makeup brand. I don't know. I just grabbed it. It was a brand I never heard before. It's called Miss Cop Makeup. It's a blush vibration lumiere in this color pish. Okay, I mean, this is a chalky hot mess, if I'm being honest. It's still in my collection because I bought it in Spain, okay? It still gives me memories. I still talk about it. And like, it's not horrific, but it also isn't that great. Let me show you. You know what? I'm wearing a Dior highlighter and I'm filming a drugstore highlighter video. So let me not be fake here. Like you'll see. I mean, of course I do have Dior underneath. It's not horrific, but on its own, it's definitely worse. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a very very high quality highlighter to me. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, the drugstore has some bomb highlighters. There are so many formulas from the drugstore that I really, really love. This isn't one of them. It just, it doesn't touch any of the ones that I love. All right, so let's move on to number 16. This is a formula from Milani and these are the Ludacris Lights Highlighter. Now this was supposed to come out for the Coachella collection this year, which obviously Coachella didn't happen. Now they're trying to be cool, different colors. We have this purple. We have this blue. You guys, these are a hot mess express. They are so chunky. I would never wear these because of the colors. I keep them because they're kind of nice with some glitter glue on the eyelids. But on the cheeks, these don't even like stick to skin. It's very, very odd. These are very, very bad formula, which I feel bad to say because Milani was kind enough to send me this collection. But these were not my favorite items that they've come out with. It will be redeemed. I have some Milani highlighters that are ranked pretty high. Okay, so moving on to number 15. This is from Sleek Makeup and this is the highlighting palette in Solstice. I bought this years ago. This went trending on the YouTube platform when really blinding white highlighters was in style. I mean, Nikki Tutorials love this and that should tell you something. Not for me, not my style. I think back in the day when I was in college, ooh, I used to rock the icy highlighters out. I don't leave my house. Even before the pandemic, I didn't leave my house. I just don't find highlighters like these very flattering on my skin tone. Why do I keep this? I don't know. I, it's still there though. Let's move on to number 14. And at this point, I would say the rest of the highlighters I actually really like. It more so comes down to just what I wear and how often. So this first one is from Wet n Wild. And this is the Loose Highlighting Powder in Lit. And I think it's a very nice loose highlighting formula. It's a bit messy. I just don't reach for loose highlighters that often because they are too messy. And a lot of times they're just a bit too much for me. Loose highlighters last me a lifetime because I just do like three little speckles of pigment and then I spread it out because I do prefer a more natural highlight. I mean, I wouldn't say I prefer a more natural, but I just don't like white, stark, fully pigmented highlighters. I just don't like that look on me anymore. Maybe a couple years ago I did. This is a very nice loose highlighter. It's just a bit too beaming for my preferences. Probably would grab for that more so like if I left the house and went out at night, but the, the problem is I don't do that. So that's why that doesn't get used very often. But if you want a nice, affordable, loose highlighter, this will be your jam. It's really, really nice. Okay, so let's move on to number 13. I have this highlighter from Flower Beauty. It's their Pyramids Highlighter in the shade Rose Glow. This is very, very pretty. I actually like this as a blush topper and I'm a big fan of a really pink cheek. So this with a pink blush underneath, mixing the pinks with the pink highlighter, 
it's a look and it's really really gorgeous to be honest i feel like this should be ranked higher kind of looking at my collection now i don't know why it's not it's just not something that i grab for because i do think it's a little bit too pink even though i like a pink cheek it's a lot of pink going on here so i never think to really grab for this but i need to use this more like in the springtime when a flush cheek is really springtime appropriate that's when this will come into play more so i just haven't gotten a ton of use out of this but it's really pretty all right <laughs> moving on to number 12 and y'all i have a lot of wet and wild formulas in this video so this first one is from a limited edition collection a couple years ago so it's no longer available but i really enjoy this highlighter this is the mega glow highlighting bar in the shade earth they had like earth's ocean land sea or something like that collection and i had the whole collection but the other highlighters didn't make it those were decluttered but i still love this one even though it's limited edition i just think it is a gorgeous gold highlighter wet and wild they know how to do highlights even with all of their different formulas for the most part i love every single one of their highlighting formulas and this one is just gorgeous now if i still had the other colors i feel like this would be bumped down because as a whole i didn't like the collection but since this is the last man standing it's a gorgeous gold highlight okay for real though there's not many ways to describe highlighters and i apologize if this gets repetitive but let's move on to number 11 another wet and wild formula this is the highlighting gold bar and i remember years ago this sold out it was limited edition and then you couldn't get it anywhere and people went nuts for this highlighter and it's really really good but this was back in the day before all of these brands perfected their highlighter formula so still very very nice i believe you can still get it it's just a gorgeous gold highlight i love a gold highlight and i mean it's solid that's all i can say about it it's just a solid generic gold highlighter i think it was ahead of its time back when it released it was a very good formula but like i said brands have really perfected their formula nowadays so let's move on to number 10 Ooh, okay another wet and wild formula i love this so this is the hello halo blush lighter so they have a whole collection of these these are fairly new i have mine in the shade highlight bling i really 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 like this i will say the only problem that i have with this is longevity i do find that drugstore highlighters while they're pretty and they blend onto the skin nice a struggle is definitely longevity and this one struggles with that but it still is gorgeous it's not too blinding i mean it it it's blinding but as the day goes on and it fades it kind of looks more like a natural highlighter by the end of the day which is very nice so that's why i do like this but i love the color i think they have a bomb formula it's really nice i want to layer all of these highlighters on my face right now and i need to not do that i already have two we're not going for three but this one's really nice especially if you like that blush lighter look you know you don't have a lot of pores on your face you lucky person and you can do that whole super glowy cheek these are perfect so bear with me number nine are just kaleidos highlighters in general now i wasn't sure where to place these because there are Kaleidos highlighters that I like more than I like others because they do have such a wide range. I just have this Space Age Moon Cruiser highlighter sitting in front of me but I have a, a good amount of these and I really really like them. The only thing that I do wish is they had more natural wearable colors because <laughs> I'm basic but what I also love about their line is that they have all of these unnatural really cool colors and they find a really awesome way of making them work on the skin even though they're they're like green. I just think they have an amazing line of colors and I think it's really fun to be creative with them. Very good formulas in general so I really love these highlighters and the reason why they're ranking pretty high is because I think they just do a good job of forcing me to be creative and to just do uh, something other than a champagne or a gold highlight. Kudos to Kaleidos, that's why you're ranking right there. All right so let's move on to number eight. I have the ColourPop Super Shock, Super Shock, <laughs> Super Shock Cheeks. I have quite, um, I only have four. So these two were from a Kathleen Lights collection that are no longer sold. And then I have, you know, Lunch Money, Flexitarian. I really like Lunch Money. Flexitarian, again, was for like the white blinding highlight days. Lunch Money is a little bit more natural. I do prefer though the Kathleen Lights ones, but these aren't sold anymore. Anyways, I really love, 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 love this formula. 
lot and I love the way that these blend into the cheek so seamlessly. The only thing is, I do think they're a little bit finicky with application. The only way that I like to apply them is using a damp sponge because I feel like that really presses it into the skin and blends it into the makeup. Otherwise, I find that it can kind of move my foundations. I'm very, very picky with a liquid or cream highlighter. These are gorgeous, but they are a little bit finicky with how they need to be applied and how they work for me. So that's why they're not at the top because if they applied better, they would be at the top because they look beautiful on the cheeks. Okay, so let's move on to number seven. Oh, this brings back so many memories. Honestly, I don't really use it that much anymore, but the memories it gives me are so strong that it has to rank high. This was my favorite most used highlighter for years. This is well beyond its expiration date, but it's fine. It still works. And this is the Shimmer Palette in the shade Boozy Brunch. It's just like a highlighter the size of your head. It'll never run out. And I love, love, love the color of this. It's more golden based, but I, depending on where you grab the color from, you can get it a little bit darker. You can get it a little bit lighter, but I feel like there's something about this formula where it just sinks into the skin and just gives you this smooth layer of glow it is so smoothing such a creamy formula it's only a few bucks i believe they still sell this and if they do, this is an OG for me, man. It's super good. All right, so let's move on to number six. Ooh, this formula is so good. Now we're really getting into like the best of the best, definitely comparable or could beat high-end highlighters. This is the Milani Rose Glow Stellar Lights Palette. Now this is for when I want something extra shiny, like it's a special extra evening. Again, the one thing about this, longevity, not good. It definitely fades, but if fades to like a nice natural finish which I don't mind either but I love the options you have here you have like a rose gold a regular gold and then kind of like a white champagne highlight and I like to mix and match them I like to put like the rose all over my cheek and put the super shiny one right in the center of my cheek for a little extra pop it's so smoothing to the skin this is just a bomb highlighter formula I take it with me when I go out of town all the time I act like I travel a lot I don't but whenever I go out of town I'm always tempted to bring this one because it's really great just with the color that you get quality is very nice maybe wear a cream underneath or don't set your face so that the highlighter lasts longer but it's so good for the value and it just looks great on the skin moving on to number six we have another milani formula these are a newer formula from them these are the power up highlighter duos well no this is a highlighter duo in the shade power up and it's a cream and powder though the cream is kind of powdery uh, like it's i didn't know it was a cream until i read it and then i accidentally dug my fingernail in and i was like oh yeah that is a cream i was under the impression it was a powder anyways <sighs> so good you guys so you put the cream down first which is so smoothing to the skin it blends in seamlessly and honestly i was fine with just the cream even before i knew it was a cream it was gorgeous all over the skin but if you want an extra blam to your face you go in with this gorgeous powder oh my gosh it smooths out your skin it is just an absolute dream on the skin and i think because the cream is a cream and you put the powder on top it doesn't fade like a lot of drugstore highlighters so good this is a bomb.com formula I highly recommend. All right, moving on to number four. This was six. This was five. Okay. Number four, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I mean, this is a classic. And truly, because I do have that natural highlighting love, I got a thing for that. This is perfect for just a natural glow. It's like your skin tone. It doesn't seem like it would be much, but then when you put it on the skin and then you turn in the light, it's like glow from within stunningness doesn't emphasize texture just it blends into the skin without being too glowy you're never gonna get a white finish it's just a all-around gorgeous highlighter this gets a lot of hype for a good reason it is bomb and it is super affordable okay i'm um, moving on to number three we are on the final home stretch here is there this is from revlon it's one of the only things that i own from revlon and this is a skin lights prismatic highlighter i think i like it because it's that baked gelée kind of formula so it's like a mess-free highlighter. It smooths over the skin, glides over the
liquid skin. I just eyed my highlighter brush so I could put this on top. No, don't do it. I love the color. This is 201 Daybreak and everything good I could say about a highlighter is in this formulation. It's such a steal. It's such a gem at the drugstore. Definitely one of the best things that Revlon's ever made. Super good. All right, moving on to number two. Now these are quite popular for good reason. Again, if you like really blinding highlights, you'll like this. I have to use a very light hand and really spread it out, but the glow is so pretty. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome line. Now there's some colors that I recommend more than others. I've been into pink highlighters lately, so I really like the Molten Rose Gold. I do find the Molten Gold to be a bit too deep on my skin tone when I'm not tan. It's gorgeous when I'm tan, but these are also really gorgeous like body highlighters and they're so smoothing on the skin. The shade 250, I don't even know what this one is called. A bit too light for my preference, but it does make a gorgeous inner corner highlight. Like, do you see that? Just for that little bit of glow and like, I know some of you guys hate this, but. I like looking like I stuck my nose in some grease. Gorgeous. And then my personal favorite, this is from a limited edition collection, but I have not found a highlighter <laughs> with this color before. This is from a collection with Puma. It was a collaboration with Puma. And it's just this golden like lilac color. Seriously, I've never seen a highlighter like this. It's amazing. I love this highlighter. I wish I still sold it because the color is just so unique. Okay, so let's move on to my number one favorite highlighter. And this is a highlighter where I have decluttered all of the other corresponding highlighters in this formulation. So because I only have one color, The Last Man Standing is so good. It's one of my favorite highlights. It's number one. But if it's brothers and sisters were still here, it wouldn't be number one. But this color is just my favorite. So this is good old white and wild mega glow highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. I mean, this has been around for years, but genuinely, it's just one of the best colors. It's like a pinky champagne color. It's something that I feel I can go for any time of the day, anywhere. Super glowy, but still natural. Blends into the skin beautifully. You can blend it out for a more natural finish. You can really build it up for a super blinding glow. It's just super versatile, a great color. I mean, what else can I say? It's just fabulous. <laughs> and it's like three bucks. I'm just saying. All right, you guys. So that is all I have for today's video. That was me ranking all of my drugstore and affordable highlighters. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.